What's going on guys, Alex here, and if you recently picked up the new Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, or S25 Ultra, I'm going to show you some amazing quality of life improvements that you can make on this phone that's just going to improve the experience and make your phone easier to use. Let's get started. All right guys, now the very first quality of life improvement you need to make on your Galaxy phone is to improve the call quality. And the way to do that is whenever somebody calls you, what you want to do is go ahead and answer the phone. And then from the top, just swipe down twice and you'll see an option here for mic mode. So we're gonna tap on that and you can see it's by default set to standard, but we're gonna change this to voice focus. And what this will do is focus on your voice. So anytime you're on a phone call, if there's any background noise going on around you, your phone will identify those sounds and reduce those volumes and suppress them so that your voice is more clear to the person that you're talking to. So go ahead and tap done and you don't need to do this again. It will keep it in voice focus from now on. So if you hang up on your phone call and then you get another phone call in the future, it will still retain those settings. So you don't need to change them every time. Just set it and forget it. Now the next quality of life improvement we're going to make is to change the size of the call window. So if I call myself again, you're going to see that the call window takes up my whole entire screen of my phone. And if I was reading something or maybe writing an email, this can be very distracting and get in my way. So we're going to change that to make it a little bit more convenient. And to do that, just open up your phone dialer, go to the three dots here, go to settings. And right there, you'll see an option that says call display while using apps. So tap into here and change it from full screen to either small pop up or mini pop-up and make sure this is selected keep calls in pop-up so that after you answer that phone the pop-up window will stay in that same size so now look what happens when i give myself a call you're gonna see that we're gonna get a mini pop-up right up there it doesn't take over my whole entire screen and completely distract me from what i was doing so again if i'm writing an email or i'm reading something this is nowhere near as distracting and if i answer it you can see that the pop-up stays up here and i can continue using my phone so if i'm going through any websites or reading a bunch of emails that will stay up there and I can continue to use my phone. Now this next quality of life improvement is really great for notification management. So if you get a lot of notifications that maybe you don't care about, but you don't necessarily want to turn off all notifications from a specific app, this is going to be great. So to set this up, what you want to do is go into your phone settings, scroll down to notifications and then go to advanced settings. And at the bottom here, you'll see an option that says manage notification categories for each app. What you want to do is enable this and now what you're going to be able to do is go to any app on your phone so let's take instagram for example long press on it hit this little eye icon right here go to notifications and then right here you'll see an option that says notification categories and you can see we have all of these different categories that we can individually disable while keeping other ones enabled so you can just go through this list and disable any notifications that you don't care about for example if you don't want to get notified every time you get a like on a picture you can remove that and whatever else in here that you don't really care about you can go ahead and disable and only leave enabled things that you care about like maybe direct messages or friend requests or comments and other things like that and that's just going to make your phone bother you a lot less with useless notifications and of course you can do this for every single application you can do this for reddit you can do this for tiktok you can do this for facebook just long press on the app go to the eye icon and then go to the notifications allow notifications if they're not allowed and then just manage all of the notification categories and set them up to your liking all right guys for this next setting what we're going to do is go to our phone settings go to where it says lock screen and always on display tap on secure lock settings and then right here where it says auto lock screen turn off you can change how long your phone will stay unlocked after you lock it so right now it's set to immediately so if i lock my phone i will have to put in my pin or password or fingerprint to access my phone but i can keep it unlocked for a few seconds because sometimes i lock my phone and then realize i need to get back into it so we can set this to maybe 15 seconds and now you're going to see what will happen is if i lock my phone and then unlock it again it will stay unlocked for 15 seconds so i don't need to put in my pin or password or fingerprint i can access my phone for 15 seconds after hitting that lock button. And again, that can just be convenient if you need to quickly get back into your phone because you forgot to do something. Now, one thing that your phone does to save battery life is auto dim and lock on you. So if you don't interact with your phone and it doesn't sense you touching or scrolling on it, it will dim and just lock the screen so that way it doesn't stay on for a long time. If you put your phone down somewhere, just draining the battery by staying unlocked. But this can be annoying if you're reading a long article or you're looking at a photo and your phone keeps trying to lock on you and you have to keep tapping on the screen to keep it awake. Well, there's a really convenient feature built in that you can change to fix that. So if you go into your phone settings and then go to the display settings here 
And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see something called screen timeout. Now, mine is set to five minutes just because I don't want this phone locking on me during these videos, but you should have your set to 15 or 30 seconds and then your phone will just auto lock on you. But there's a setting right here that you need to enable that says keep screen on while viewing. And just like it says, it will just keep the phone on as long as it sees that you're looking at the phone. So if you're looking at a photo or you're reading a long article, your phone will use that front facing camera to see that you're looking at it and it won't dim and auto lock on you. And that is just a really convenient feature. Like you can see right there, it is now dimming and locking on me because I'm not looking at it. It's not detecting my face and I'm not interacting with it and I have to tap on it to keep it awake. So enabling this will just help you with that issue and you won't have to keep tapping on your screen to keep it unlocked. Now your Galaxy phone has an ultrasonic fingerprint built in, which is one of the best fingerprint sensors out there. It's very fast, very reliable, but sometimes it can maybe not read your finger properly and it just says it doesn't match and you have to keep trying to unlock it. And one way to get around that to make that fingerprint sensor even better is to go into your phone settings and then scroll down to security and privacy. Go to screen lock and screen lock and biometrics right there. And you can see you have fingerprint profiles up here. I have two fingers added. I think you can add up to five fingerprints. So what you can do is tap add a finger and then add your main finger twice. So I use my thumb on my right hand to unlock my phone. And what you can do is just add that same thumb again. And this will just create a larger profile of your fingerprint and your phone will have more data to work with and this will make it more reliable so that anytime you go to unlock your phone, it should have a lot more data to work with and have less errors when unlocking with your fingerprint. So if you have issues with your fingerprint sensor just not working sometimes, go ahead and add your finger twice and it should work much better. Now, while we're on the topic of biometrics, your phone does have a face unlock feature in it. It uses the front facing camera to see your face and unlock the phone, but it doesn't work too well in low light conditions just because it doesn't have all those sensors like the iPhone does and it can struggle a little bit in those low light conditions, but there is a setting on your phone that you can change to make it work a little bit better in those conditions. So if you go back to the uh, biometric section in security and privacy, right there, screen lock and biometrics. Now go to face recognition. You'll see an option in here that says brighten screen. And what this will do is if you're trying to unlock your phone in low light conditions, your phone will brighten the screen to cast more light onto your face, making it easier for the face unlock feature to work. So it's a little bit more reliable in those low light conditions. So again, if you use face unlock a lot, you can definitely enable this feature to make it more reliable. All right guys, now for this last setting, it's a two in one and I absolutely love this. Essentially what we're gonna set up right now is give your phone the ability to announce the caller when you get a phone call on your phone. So it'll announce the name of the person calling you on the speakerphone and allow you to answer or reject the call using your voice. So I really love this because if my phone is not right beside me or in my pocket or in my hand, it's a little bit away from me and maybe I'm cooking or cleaning something and my hands are busy and I can't actually physically touch my phone, it will just say out loud the person who's calling me and I'll have the ability to reject or answer the call using my voice. So it's definitely really convenient. But to set this up, first what you wanna do is go to your dialer, go to these three dots, tap settings, and right there where it says answering and ending calls, we're gonna have an option in here that says read caller names aloud and mine's already enabled. But if yours is disabled, go ahead and enable this and then tap into here and make sure it's not set to over Bluetooth, but set it to always. And now it will always announce the name of the caller when you get a phone call. So this section is now ready. Next, what we're gonna do is search for the Bixby app on our phone. So we can go to our app tray, type Bixby. You'll see it right there. It should already be installed on your phone. If it's not, go ahead and install it from the Galaxy Store. But when you have it, long press on it and then go to Bixby settings. And right there, tap on talk to Bixby without wake up and make sure to enable this feature. And now what you're gonna be able to do is say something like answer a phone or reject call when you get a phone call, or you can even dismiss or snooze alarms and timers. And that's it, you're all set up. Now, anytime you get a phone call, the phone will announce the name of the caller so that you can hear it and you'll have the ability to answer or reject the call. But there you go, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed these quality of life settings on your Galaxy phone. Let me know if you have any more awesome settings that we should know about in the comments below. But that's going to do it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.